Now, my typical rule of thumb when you're working on any gearbox, take the butt off. In the case of lithium polymers, this might turn into a way too big. Um, that's a big issue. Okay, so that's a big This whole tube assembly comes off. It screws off? Yeah, that's your lock nut. After you clip them, it's okay if you leave them like this, not that big of a deal. While you're working on it, if you walk away from it, tape them or something individually so that What, they don't what should I use? Pliers is your tool. Doesn't matter. I'm saying tape them with electrical tape. Yes, I correct With electrical tape, with something. Black tape. Austin. For these buttstocks, this is your lock ring, yeah? Uh, they are, that's that's a faux ring. That's not a real thing. Okay. They have a yeah, tube in the buffer. There's a there's a screw in the buffer tube. So you're gonna pop the stock off. If it was a real thing, I'd have to go back home to get the actual wrench for it. Here, here. Give me. He's giving you grabby hands. Give me. This one I know how to do. Right here. Yeah. Well, no, I don't. Well. What do you think I was doing? Shut up. <laughs> There's a screw down in there. You're gonna... Yeah. That's... I literally have a screwdriver for that purpose. Hold on. Where's Bertha? Mm -hmm. Nope, that's sad. That's cute. I literally bought that for this purpose. There you <laughs> go. Okay, let's take that back. Big Lots Dollar Store, Harbor Freight. That's the way to go. Passion. You should see some of the screwdrivers. Hey, for, that, uh, for tools that I'm loading out, that works great because they don't always come back. Tightening it? Uh, I don't know. Don't it's not moving. Screw it's boy. It's not moving. Maybe that's gonna be your nickname, Screw Stripper. Ooh, we can go <laughs> so many ways with that. <laughs> hey, so shut many up. ways with that. Tony, he's still young. That is oh, not okay. About, oh, you guys don't even know about Mr. T, but he knows about this. Oh god. These are even initiated. We're good. <laughs> oh yeah, I I know how to take this apart because I've seen my dad take apart his AR. So <laughs> that's a long screw. The wires. Yeah, those aren't gonna come out. Alright. You know, it just makes it a little, a little easier. Is all of this is all tied in. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now this is probably a gen uh, version yes. two or three so gearbox. So all of your, your motor is down here, mm -hmm. right? But your battery connector feeds in from back here. So your wire is going to come through the buffer tube, down into the motor, and attach to the, to the trigger. All right. This is where you need to start having. I call it dainty hands, but careful hands. Okay. As you start taking Female things lines. apart, don't pull. If it gives you resistance, back up. So yeah. try it again. We gotta take the motor out. It's always a good start, so. Yes. If you really wanted to hang on to these, you can. The Tamiya's, and this is small actually a mini Tamiya. You can. Like a special tool on You can, or pliers. You can take anything smaller than the that fits in here but is big enough to press on. There you go. See what I'm saying? Don't. They'll usually pop out. They're held in there by um, clips. If you really have to, you have to get something real thin. Okay, so those clips should just slide off if so I'm not mistaken. There you go. No, it might actually break the collectors. Um, and you can just barely see them. Yeah, so these are female. So. Yeah, sure. Just like that. I've done this on RCs, right? I, I have one that has broken about a million times. Yeah, I, I took this out before because it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. So I had to do something. Yeah. I just took it out. To get it to the next part of the gearbox, what do you do? Unscrew that. 
And then when you pull the hand, when you pull the handguard off, careful you're not just yanking it off because you will destroy those connectors. So I use a butane iron. Okay. No quartz. Instant heat. Not instant heat. It's actually mildly slower. Oh. But with quartz, I can go anywhere. I don't want that screw to drop down into the gearbox. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something with the butane. Austin. Yeah, we're taking one of your parts strays. Cool. They're magnetic. No, I'm Even better. I'll grab the other one. You grab the broken one. Yeah, the the bag. Ah, ah, ah! That's awesome. So we're gonna put all of our so, screws in there. With anything electrical, you always good. How do we do? Where did the other things go? Other things? Yeah, there were typically. Every wire is marked Two of the, gauge. these, this, so and like this. Uh, if Tony. Tony. So oh, yeah, I got him. Never mind, you're relieved. I know. Real small ones, like when you get down to like 20, 24. So actually, the smaller the number, the bigger the wire. The bigger the number, the smaller the wire. Yes. But when you get real small, like 24 or something like that, then it won't be marked. Yeah, right. yeah. you just gotta guess. Or put it inside the room with it up. Yeah, you can kind of go. Mm, now, now that you feel that wiggle. That one looks kind of right. Put it back in the corner. Keep going. There you go. So with these, since we are using. Whenever you pull the hand guard off, same thing that you just saw me do. Just watch these leads come up. That way you don't have to see it out. So this is your motor input. This is where where the motor go. This is where your tooth input matches into the gearbox. Okay. Now, some of the hard stuff done. Here's the hardest part: getting the lower off. I like to kind of twist these and keep all the strands together. Okay. And then we're going to get everything. We're going to get everything done with this. So we're going to leave this one alone. Because I don't want to accidentally do a spark yeah. and stuff. If you're really. So, your box ends here. This is your air nozzle. So, tell me where it's holding in. That's one. And I'm guessing here. No, so again, this is your magnum. Okay? No, this here. Actually, nope. Oh. This doesn't have much to do with it. Your mag dump actually runs below your gearbox. This will actually run into your gearbox because this selects your speed. There's one, there's one more pin that's actually crucial to keeping that on. Th this? That's going to be a punch. You see how it comes all the way through? Yeah. Second thing, always good to actually So much easier. Alright, so now that you're clear of that.
Flathead. So, now we make sure we take our female in. And I always have a reference close by because I tend to forget it on that. This is the one part I don't like about Vulcans. <laughs> It looks like it's being held in by only that. The this? It shouldn't be. I mean, that's funny. So now we're going to go and do the same thing we shot the bar on the back by figuring it out. And these can be a little bit of a pain because space is a premium on the zero percent APR. Customers on this plane make the lower speeds and further reduction. But the last thing you write the low is the uncovered and all the details at small.com. Yes, they've got very high amperage flow as well as they've got low resistance. Go ahead, prove me wrong. <laughs> when you I hate it when I'm wrong. Too small. That screw is really stripped, so I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. 